Hey Internet, I'm Colorfarney and welcome back to Frogger. He's back. So today we have the joy of going to Uncanny Crusher, which is in my opinion the second hardest level in the entire game. Uh, yeah, this level's a pain. The green, blue, and red frogs are not too hard to get, but the orange and purple frogs, nearly impossible. So to start, what you're going to want to do is ride this newspaper down the river, ignore those two sides, we'll be going there later. Instead, we'll ride through these crushers, which by the way are instant death should you touch those spikes, and we get the green frog. Now, what we're going to do is ride this, come up here, these are grinders, wait for them to go low down and we can hop across them, hop over here, and if you super hop on there, you get the red frog. And now we're going to go back there once again. Okay, so if we turn it this way, you'll see this is where the red frog was. We can also hop on top of the crushers, just not in front of them. No! My stupid game lagged right at the wrong moment, and then I died. It's so annoying. This is still the easy part of the level, by the way. Also, I've always wondered, is there anything back here? No. If Frogger decides to stop there, you're doomed, by the way. Whoosh. And now, the, here comes the hard part of the level, because we have to deal with oil, which acts like ice. And it has the nasty habit of warping you in places you do not decide to go. So for example, by hopping left of there, I could have hopped right in front of the crusher. Alright. No. 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 Oh my gosh, I made a foo! Yes! That is like a hundred times harder than it looks, by the way. Like, if there's a level in the game that's going to give you trouble, it's definitely this one. Along with one other level in the cactus world. We'll get there when we get there. Alright. Oh my gosh, this level. This level. Gotta wait for the crushers to just be perfectly lined up before you decide to act. Oh my gosh, I made it through twice in a row without dying. I should not have said that. Oh no. Are you kidding me right now? No! Not again! This is the third time I've tried recording this, and this stupid thing keeps coming up at the worst times, and there's nothing I can do about it, and it's just so stupid. There's no reason for it. No! 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 Ah! I know it seems like I'm massively overacting, but you have no idea how hard that is to get through. And I screwed up in an easy part. Also, this is my third attempted recording at this, and it keeps screwing up because either the black thing happens... Or, like, my computer unexpectedly restarts, or my coffee boots me out. I don't even know anymore. All I know is I'm so sick of trying to do this level over and over and over and over and over again. And I literally did it perfectly, except the stupid screen booted me out. Looney the Scourge, I've come to settle with you. Whew. 
just eat it, eat it, eat it. Yeah, see, sometimes it, like, skips you forward like that. And there's really no way to prevent that from happening. So it's kind of just a luck-based mission as to whether or not you'll get through it. I guess I kind of touched the Crusher's spikes, I guess. Okay, up we go! Hooray! I'm gonna die. <sighs> what sadist designed this level? No. And sometimes it warps you backwards, so that's cool. Last life. I didn't even get the gold frog either. Of course, they had to put the gold frog on here. Oh, and by the way, this is not the most difficult level in the game. It's up there, but it's not the most difficult. Alright, yes. Yes! Uncanny Crusher is dead! And now we go to Boom Boom Barrel. It's a harder version of Bane Bane Barrel. It's darker... And much more intimidating. You'll see why it's much more intimidating in a bit. But once again, we can just hop down here. Eat some bugs, it's all cool. Lining up the Bane Bane barrels is a bit harder now. As you can see, they just do not want to line up. You know what, I saw some bugs down here, so I'm going to go ahead and eat those. Ooh, 200 points! Dane! I forgot bugs were worth that much sometimes. Alright, let's see if I can line up the Bane Bane barrel correctly this time. Bane, nope. Because the barrels go faster, lining up the Bane Bane barrels is a lot harder now. Was brilliant. At least I got an extra life though, so I could still win. Highly unlikely, but I could still win. You gotta jump on the barrels sooner than you would expect. So if memory serves, Red Frog is still in the same spot. Hooray! Extra life? Nah. Figures. But still, I'd take this level over Uncanny Crusher any days, because at least this has no luck involved. And that was too soon. Darn it! But I don't care. I beat Uncanny Crusher! I don't know how much of this video I'm going to be cutting out of me screaming at the blank screen. I might keep that in. People might be entertained. Uncanny Crush Your Art gets the- Whoa! I, like, massively got number one, like, by a long shot. And that might- I think that was the first game over I've had on screen. I say on screen because I'm forced to have game overs at the end of every episode in order to enter my high scores and exit the game. Let's ride the river of monster. 
For those of you who have never had Monster Energy, it looks just like this. Except I think it looks a little more radioactive. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, I got the one up, but I missed the barrel. Why are there so many oil barrels in the sewer? I never even, like, contemplated that or thought it was weird. I hate it when that happens. Because sometimes, like, they just don't line up correctly, and you die if you step on it, and you die if you don't step on it. This game is so fair, it's not even fair. No, no, no. Oh, yes! Yeah! And the slugs are much more intimidating now. I'm gonna get the green frog first. Is there something? No, there's nothing over there. It's still pretty cool how the level kind of like intertwines on itself, and it's very compact, but at the same time there's still a lot of exploration. So yeah, for the most part, Boom Boom Barrel is pretty much exactly the same as Bane Bane Barrel. This is one of those repeats where I'm like, eh, was it really necessary? Because, the, like, there were a few things different, but I don't think there's a sufficient amount of differences in order to warrant a second go at this stage. It looked like I should have landed on the left newspaper right there. This level's like... It's, a, it's more legitimately hard than Uncanny Crusher, to be sure. It's still really hard, though. Not hopping on that one. Learned my lesson last time. Bane! Alright. Okay. Purple Frog, you are mine. Of course, I'm saving the really hard ones for last, which is probably not a good idea, because that means I'll have a higher chance of having a game over and having to do the hard parts again. Why do I keep doing that? I know it's not going to work. Alright, I'm going to try to get one of the hard ones now. And it does involve these slugs. Whew! I remember the slugs being faster and more plentiful than that. I'm very grateful that they are not, though. You might be asking, hey, where's the orange frog? He normally was on this, the pathway to the green frog. Where did he go? He's still here. He oh, come on! I went right through the barrel. Uh, that's the sewer. I went through the newspaper! I literally passed straight through it. Ridiculous. All right. Booyah. Good, I got an extra life. That was my intention. Time to get Orange Frog. Arguably the hardest frog to get. All right. There's a second set of slugs. And lucky us, 
We get to go through them, but yay! <laughs> now it's time for Reservoir Frogs! And this is actually a pretty cool level. This is a good way to end the sewer levels. It's hard, but it's the good kind of hard. Go get them! Alright. Uh, nope. Man, nothing's winding up today. Oh, come on! Why does this level have to be such a jerk? I expected more from you, Reservoir Dog Frogs. Bane Bane Barrel, come on before I go over the waterfall! Yes! And that's where Purple Frog is. And if we can time that again, we can get the green frog pretty easily. Bane! Alright, if we can time this just right. Okay, so if you're really good, you can time all three of those in a row. That's pretty cool. You gotta admit that. You gotta admit this is cool! Slide down the waterfall on some slime. There's some raccoons there, but we don't really care about them. And I know this is more oil, but I actually really like this part. It's really cool. I say now. Provided friction works with you. Come on, friction. Bad luck. At least getting through that's mostly skill. There's a little bit of luck involved with the sliding mechanics, but it's not too bad. Why is it so? It's so much harder to rapidly hop left or right, or left or down, than it is up or right. No, the freaking oil. All right, change of plans. We're going after a different frog. One. It's not going to be so much luck based. Cute. Raccoons in the sewer. Oh no, no. Why didn't the raccoon appear? There, went, there was like a period of 10 seconds where there was no raccoons. Oh my gosh. Well, if there was a world I thought this was going to happen in, it was the sewer world. Along with the cactus world, but we'll get there when we get there. Reservoir frogs! Alright, let's, tr let's try to get the frog I was trying to get earlier. Alright. You see how freaking hard it is to- I'm trying to go- No! Oh my god, there! Finally! Did you see how hard it was just to even go onto this one little square? And Frogger, for the life of him, just would not hop forward. Thanks, Frogger. You're a pal. Yeah, I'm, I'm pushing down at the exact same rate I was pushing up, and I'm going way slower. No! I made it through! Come on! Let's try this from a different angle. Oh, that's a much worse angle. <laughs> No, no, no! Frogger, you've got to freaking hop! When I say hop, you need to hop to it. That's beautiful. Alright, let's try going this way. There. More visibility. There we go! Good grief! It's supposed to be one of the easier frogs on the level. At least if you compare it to the um, orange frog. Boom. Boom. 
Yeah, the oil drums are boom boom barrels, and then these are bang bang barrels. Let me try to wind this up. No, no, no. Da, 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 da. Drat. Or as Charlie Brown would say, rats. Come on. All right. Whoa, that was a little risky. Yeah, that's always satisfying when you can pull that off. All right, provided the raccoons cooperate, we can actually win the level. Even though the orange frog is devilishly tricky to get. Okay, so this raccoon comes by fairly frequently. The one in front of me, not so much. Bang! Whoa, okay. That's why I... Okay. There's red. I'm not even on the red square, but I don't care. I'm just hopping on the ground like I just don't care. That didn't rhyme at all. Alright, the path to get the orange frog is fraught with danger and slugs. For some reason, slugs kill frogs. Don't think that happens in real life unless it's from spreading disease, but alright. We're in a sewer, so it's highly probable. Raise your hand if you like raccoons. I think they are kind of mean. But that's just me. They are cool how they have opposable thumbs. What the heck, Frogger? I was hopping forward and you were, like, going backwards. I think he was honestly slowing down because I was hopping forwards. Which makes no sense. I'm sure I'm gonna get the physics majors. Well, actually, given the ice physics, it does make sense that if you keep trying to go forwards, you will actually not go anywhere. If I had physicists watching my channel. Don't think I do, though. Alright, let's try this again. This time with feeling. I s Ugh, Frogger, you tried to screw me over again. Let's try going on the ground this time. Oh, that's much easier. So now, we've got to do a little trick that they don't teach you. I'm mashing super hop and down at the same time. There we go. So there's an extra life over there that's very tempting, and at the same time I know I shouldn't go for it, because guess what? Orange Frog is right up here. Come on! Hop! Super hop! Super hop! Yeah, this can be really, really obnoxiously difficult. No, come on. Yes! Yes! Sewer's done! Sewer is done! Oh, thank goodness. That world is awful. Terrible. Never do it. <laughs> Even the cactus world, as difficult as the cactus world is, it's going to be a breath of fresh air. Quite literally. So, that's the end of the sewer world. I am not even going to try the cactus world in this video. Hopefully we can get all of those done in one video. Or at least the first three or four levels. The last level is a nightmare. But there's only one banana level. Oh god, I, t I mentioned earlier the leaf world is the shortest. I guess I lied. I don't really count the banana world as a world, per se, because it's kind of like the final level. But we'll get there when we get there. And the next episode of Colorful Artie Plays Frogger 3D, we'll be going to Cactus Point and hopefully beat Lore's high score to a pulp. So... Thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next episode, hopefully. Have a great day, and God bless.